This is the floor in those spaces, and this is what we used when we did the floor the first time. That right there from Home Depot. And it's gonna be shinier because, you know, that's been walked on, and this has been walked on, so. You done, you gonna put another coat, or? He gonna put one more coat, but I like it better than it looked. It was so dark. I had like these dark little, I don't know, it was just weird. And you're not really going to see a big difference because the rug going to be there. So, I don't know. It, it doesn't bother me as much as it did before. But I know in the future we're going to probably have to do the whole space in order for it to look uniform. Um, then again, I don't know. I've been debating because we don't want to keep sanding too much because we're going to start hitting a lot of the nail heads, which makes the floors weak. So, I've been really contemplating maybe doing like a laminate floor on all the rooms which is cheaper than hardwood and more durable so but that'll come in the future future like so yeah but for now get ready to put the blinds up we're gonna put the blinds up in here you guys will probably see me doing this one but we're gonna these are the blinds and yeah they're so much thicker and this is what they look like brand new out the box and i think this is like that balance thing so yeah yep I can't wait to put these up. I know these are gonna look better and it's gonna be so much more easier to clean, like really. All right, y'all. Stay tuned for a video on a gadget that I purchased from Amazon that was amazing on cleaning these blinds. It is so easy, so, so easy. And I'm gonna do a separate video so that way people can find it when they're looking for the best way to clean their faux um, wood two inch blinds. So. All right, guys, stay tuned for that video as well. Look at the difference in these brackets. I'm trying to, hold on. Look at the, these brackets from the mini blinds versus the two inch ones. Big, right? Big difference. All right, let me get these up. Here's the difference. This one sits on the wall this way, like this. Um, so the wider part is out to hold in the whole blind. But these ones are different because they sat flush with the fat part down like that. So yeah, that's the difference in these, the way they go up. Yeah. I have to see how they work. Oh, and then you do this, supposedly. That's how you raise them. I like it. No cord. Bah. The other is up. Boom, 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 boom. So I'm excited to get these bad boys up and guys we had a major dilemma not major dilemma but a little snafu but I contacted Walmart.com and they got it right all in all for all these windows I paid $142 for everything with tax but because we had a little dilemma which they fixed I ended up paying one tax. Yesterday when um, the stuff was delivered my husband was gone oh look at my eyeliner my husband was gone and um, the kids were gone he had an appointment, but I heard this noise at the door and I heard like a, a loud, like something broke, like not broke, something fell and, you know, crashed or something weird. Not like a car crash, but like something fell and hit the ground. And I ain't think nothing of it. Then like a few seconds later, my doorbell rang. So that was the package from FedEx from Walmart. So the reason I stopped is because there's a crack in the blind, which... 
I don't want to return it because it's going to probably be hard for them to sell it. And it'll just be a waste because the blind is not messed up. It's just this crack. So you could tell that the person just dropped it, right? But I just called Walmart.com and they were really cool. So I paid 51 for it. So I ended up paying 21 for it because they gave me back $30. Because it's still usable. It's just got a crack in it. So not too bad. So that's why I stopped. So I'm getting ready to begin putting this up and y'all shall see it. All right, guys, so getting ready to put the big one up. The one is 60 inches. It is heavy. These things are pretty heavy. So hubby helped me, and we just kind of worked together on getting these things done. Um, you know, and it makes me feel good that we can do these things together. I found that, um, you know, since being here, things have been a little different as far as him just being more of my partner as far as projects and wanting to do things and getting to the point where I have to say, Hey, babe, wait, leave that for me. I want to record that. So, um, yeah, it's been amazing. But then sometimes I'm tired or I don't want to do stuff and I'll wake up and he be like, babe, I did it in the middle of the night. He's a night out. Um, he's used to working late nights from like six in the morning to six. I mean, six in the evening to six in the morning. So that's what he's used to. And I think that he's still just accustomed to that. Cause he literally, I wake up and it'll be something that he's done while I was sleeping so I love that because sometimes I'm tired and sometimes I don't um, want to do certain things but I know I have to record it or I may have promised you guys stuff but that's just a part of building a great relationship you'll never have a perfect situation that you marry into but what you can have is a great relationship as you guys get to know one another uplift one another show each other love realize men like to be uplifted and told that they're doing a great job and you know all the great things just like women do and the older I've gotten and the more I've been married I've learned that and it has started to make our marriage much much better so yeah just wanted to throw that out there in the midst of this makeover just a little inspiration for you married people and people who are looking to get married um and newlyweds all right so I will see you guys a little bit later in the video enjoy <laughs> This is what they look like clothes. I'm gonna get some paint because that's what old blinds were and touch up the tops. But yeah, I love them, love them, love them. They look so much better. So much better. It's time to put this one up. So this one is up as well. And I love it, love it. I'm about to take that tag off, y'all. Hold on. So it's up, 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 up. And all of them are up now. Yeah, boy. Gotta take that off. Oh, it is time for me to. All right, so with this rug that I'm getting ready to show you guys, this was actually a choice of my husband's. Um, I have started to do my best to implement him into the process of decorating and allowing him to pick out things. So that way, when he looks around the room and our space, he can say, you know, I had input in that. Yeah, I know I like um, certain things and I know what I like but at the end of the day it's nothing for me to take multiple items and give him choices and then he'll pick one and I know out of all that he choose usually it's something I'm gonna like anyway so that's a good thing this was his choice he loved the optical illusion of it because it's like when you turn the rug in certain ways it looks like diamonds then it looks like boxes it kind of looks funky and just give kudos to the hubby because he picked this one out um this guy have to rest price for a couple days um, now I'll probably taper down. I'm concerned about like everything else look like regular, but it's like one little kink here. I don't know. We shall see. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So those are the blinds. You can't even see the blinds and the carpet. And so unfortunately, um, like I just put a caption up about this rug the kink would not come out and we let this sit for uh, more than two days it would not come out so we contacted amazon they issued us another rug and i'm going to probably today or tomorrow be unrolling that rug so it can lay out for about two days two to three days um to flatten the rug will flatten on its own but this one did not so that's why we had to get another rug i don't know I'm thinking about this back wall. We'll see. It might be okay. Um, you think maybe we should push it back some more? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, y'all. 
All right, guys. See you in the next part of this room makeover. Later, Gators.